What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just want to show you what I bought here. It's a little cover for my webcam. So let me show you here. I've got a Logitech webcam, and I actually use this putter cover to cover it up. Uh, it does light up in blue when it's active, but, you know, sometimes I hit the Logic Cam software and it, it activates and I don't even realize it. I don't know that it's broadcast or anything. But um, there's a lot of us that are worried that, uh, you know, nefarious people in the NSA are spying on us. Or sometimes you're just inadvertently turning it on and doing something stupid like uh, smoking salvia and listening to Miley Cyrus. Now listen, um, if you don't want to do that, you can use a putter cover like I do. Seems to work all right, but it's really big and bulky. But I bought this little cover. It's actually built for this webcam. I think it's the Logitech C290. It's the 1080p version I have here. And, you know, it was not as cheap as I would have thought. You know, it's about 12 bucks for this thing, but it's kind of purpose built for it. So what we can see here, and my lighting might not be the greatest, is it looks like it just kind of snaps on and then the center portion snaps out. It actually has just a little detent there, kind of lifts up. Now I think I would have it so that the top lifts up as opposed to swings down. I kind of looks like you could put it on either way, um, but that way it'll prevent it from accidentally kind of flopping open. Now it's actually pretty rigid here. It's kind of holding whatever position I keep it in, as you can see. And it looks like it just kind of snaps on the top and the bottom. These are like, if they feel like foam or silicone, there's little little runners right on the top there, so I think it'll hold on to it. So if I just go up here to the webcam and just try putting it on, kind of just presses on, I'm assuming. There we go, yeah. It's a pretty nice tight fit. And then I can just lift that sucker up. Oh, <laughs> it's not on there super tight. There we go, just press it back on there. Um, so that's kind of one of the issues is that it's, it's, you can press it on and it'll stay on, but it's not on there super tight. I can just kind of pull it off. Now, it's just gonna be kind of held on by a little pressure from the, the cover. And so it's not that it's a problem that falls off, but you do want to be a little ginger with it. It'd be nice if there was like a distinct ridge right here where it could snap on with more authority, but you can see right there how it sticks on. So it seems to, looks like it'll work and it's wide enough that it's not going to interfere with the camera lens itself, but then you can just kind of close that up and lift it back up and uh, have some security and privacy. Check it out. I'll put a link to the description. Peter Von Panda out.